Have you ever wondered how a single neuron in a neural network processes information? Today we'll break it down with some clean C++ code. We'll write and execute the code for a basic neuron with weights, a bias, and an activation function. We'll also explore how this small program mimics what happens in a neural network. Hey everyone, I'm Rebar. Today we're diving deep into how a single neuron works. Let's translate this concept into code using C++. We'll implement a neuron that performs a forward pass just like in deep learning libraries. First we include the necessary libraries, so we say hash include iostream. iostream allows us to use cout for printing outputs and hash include vector. Vector provides a dynamic array to handle our neurons weights and inputs. In this program we will use the std namespace so here I'm gonna say using namespace std and here's the realu activation function double realu and it takes double x realu stands for rectified linear unit one of the most popular activation functions in deep learning it ensures that negative values are set to zero while keeping positive values unchanged and the max function will do the job for us so we say return max and we will pass it 0, 0.0 and x this helps the neuron introduce nonlinearity, a critical feature of modern neural networks if you want to know about nonlinearity and activation function please watch this video you can find the link in the description below next we define the neuron class so we say class neuron and it has two private variables and here's the first one vector double weights weights is a list of numbers representing the strength of the connections to each input and then double bias bias is an additional value added to the weighted sum to shift the output let's create the constructor first we type public and here we say neuron this is the constructor a special function called when we create a new neuron object and then we say const vector double reference operator initial weights initial weights initializes the weights and double initial bias initial bias sets the bias value and here we say colon weights inside parentheses initial weights and then bias initial bias and open and close curly braces the column syntax initializes these variables directly here's where the magic happens double forward the forward method it takes two arguments const vector double reference operator inputs double inside parentheses asterisk activation func and here inside parentheses double the forward function calculates the weighted sum of inputs adds the bias and applies the activation function okay let's do it it starts by checking if the size of the inputs matches the weights if not it throws an error and here we say if inputs dot size is not equals weights dot size and here we type throw invalid argument 
input size must match weight size. Next, we compute the weighted sum. Let's initialize weighted sum to zero. Double weighted sum equals zero point zero. And loop through each input and multiply it by its corresponding weight. Then add the result to weighted sum. So we say for size underscore t i equals zero and i smaller than inputs that size and plus plus i and inside query braces weighted sum plus equals inputs i times weights i and finally at the bias weighted sum plus equals bias the final step applies the activation function to the weighted sum and returns the result this is the neurons output return activation func and here weighted sum okay it's done now here we have the main function int main here we create a neuron with some weights and bias then we fill in some inputs and get output after applying the real u function okay let's do it we define the weights vector double weights equals curly braces 0 0.5 negative 1.2 0 0.3 and bias double bias equals let's say 0 0.7 and then create a neuron object using these parameters neuron neuron weights and bias next we define inputs to the neuron vector double inputs equals curly braces 1.0 0 0.5 and negative 1.0 finally we call the forward method with the inputs and real activation function and here we say double output equals neuron dot forward and pass it inputs real you. Okay, let's print the output using C out. C out output with real you. And here output. And here we can say int L. The program ends with return zero indicating successful execution okay all done let's run the code and see the output and here is the output if you like this imagine building an entire neural network from scratch let me know if you would like a video on that don't forget like this video and subscribe for more.